Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today's project is going to be a table for the drill press here. Okay, so we've ripped down the two boards. Um, I've ripped them both down to 24 inches in length. This one is going to be the table. It's a little bit bigger than I was going to go with originally. I changed my mind halfway through, which I often do, which is absolutely fine. And this one is 14 inches deep. That's going to form the bed. This one is 24 inches long. And what we're going to do now is we're going to rip it down to a, a four inch strip and a two inch strip and then that's going to make an L frame for the fence. Then we'll take the four inch piece over to the router table and we'll write some grooves in for the depth stop, uh, for the for the stop blocks. So that's what we're going to do now. Okay, so we're at the router table. Uh, I've got a, a drill bit, uh, a router bit installed, um, and I still don't have the fence system set up. I still haven't finished my bench. Um, but one thing that I have figured out that works really well is just to strap down a straight edge and to screw it at one end, and I can I can pivot it then this end. Now I've got my board marked. It's also marked here. It says fence side top, so I know this is the top side. And that's the bit that lines up against the fence. I've got a marker where I want the centre of the bit to go, so all I need to do is put it up against the uh, the fence, pivot it round until I get it in the middle, which is there, and then I can clamp it down from this end. Like so, make sure that's not going anywhere. Double check that I've got it spot on in the middle and it's actually off a little bit so we'll just adjust there. There we go. Oh, that's down and I'm spot on now with my mark. So here are our marks, we've marked it so it's going to be the hole should start at three centimetres from the edge on either end and we've got our start and our stop marked so when we come to drop the board onto the router bit we line our board up with the start drop it down push it through until this end comes level with the stop and then we stop that and we lift it off Another option to using your lines is you can actually set up some um, block stops at the end of each one. So you line your board up with your mark at the start and then you clamp a board in here at the back. And then as you push it through to the other side, you've got another stop block set up over here. And that puts it in line with the end mark. And then you can guarantee that you've got repeatable cuts. It's also worth noting that this end piece as well, it's got a gap underneath it and that's to allow for the sawdust to escape underneath it. You don't get a build up here at the edge. So that's another option for you. Okay, so the fence is ready to be assembled, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some wood glue on the bead here and I'm also going to add some CA glue at the ends and in there just to add a bit of clamping pressure so we can assemble the fence and then we'll take it over to the drill press and we're going to drill six holes 
I'm going to drive in some six screws just to hold it all together nicely. So I'm over at the Meister station, uh, the Meister saw now, and I've just got this strip of wood and that is the same width as the base plate of the fence and I'm just going to cut a couple of 45 degree corners off and I'm going to glue them onto the back of the fence and that's just going to add a little bit of support and stability. Right, so you can see from my trace wall that my combination square here is missing, it's actually in the house and I'm too lazy to go inside and get it. So, I need to set um, a mark on two points on the wood at exactly the same point and I'm going to show you a quick trick of how you can do that. So, what you need to do with this one is a bolt <coughs> and two nuts and, and something to measure how big. Now, I know that my gap here, my width of my board is two inch and I want it in the middle, so I'm going to set my... My marking gauge here for exactly one inch, or as close to it isn't it, as I can. There you go. Close enough, blind man on a galloping horse wouldn't notice. And then all you do is you just get your combi and you just get your 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 bolt and put it on your combi and then you just wind down your nuts. Like so. Until you get to your inch. And then you use the other one to lock it in place. Double check you got the right gap, which is spot on. And now I can go to my board. I can put up the butt, uh, the nut next to the end. Make my mark. Same in here. Make my mark. Now I know exactly where to drill. Okay, so now I've got my mark. I can set that right in the middle and I can drill that through now. So with these holes now drilled, I've got these, what are they called, T-nuts? T-nuts I think they're called. Uh, and I'm going to drop one of those into each of those holes. Now the outside circumference of that is about 7.65 mil, so I've drilled an 8 mil hole to give a little bit of room. And you can either squeeze those in with your clamps or you can smack it with a hammer. I'm a smacker with a hammer kind of guy, so I'm just going to pound that in now. Okay, now to stop those moving, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a couple of little pilot holes and I'm going to drive in these screws and they're going to go right in those little notches and that'll stop these from moving or coming out. Okay, so it's time to place the base of the um, drill press table on the on the bed. And what I've done is I've made a mark here, which is the centre of the board. And I'm just going to eyeball that to the centre of the pillar. So, somewhere like that. And now from the bottom, what I can do is I can mark these holes that are on the drill press bed onto the bottom of the bed. Okay, so with the trace lines on the bottom 
of the from the, the table I'm just going to pilot drill a couple of holes somewhere in the middle doesn't have to be exact somewhere near is close enough Yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened with my measuring, but uh, you can see that the uh, the geometry is off a little bit. Um, anyway, yeah. function above form in this case. Now that the fence is attached and the base is attached, I'm just making some stop blocks here to ride in here. I'm going to make two, one for each end, in case I need to do something like that. Um, so I've got the two bits cut, and now I am going to drill the holes. And I've used the fence to uh, set my depth, which is good. And now I'm just going to drill the holes, I'm going to drill the two of them at the same time, and then we'll trim them down to the right width, uh, to the right length later on. Okay, so the bolts I'm going to use for the stock blocks are, they've got a bit of a shank on, but they've got these square 
edges as well. Now I've drilled a hole at the same height as the, uh, or the same width as the as the shank of the bolt. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pound that in until it sits flush, and then I'll knock it back out again. Drop some five minutes epoxy in there and pound it back in again. And that should give a nice seal then. So that's what we'll do now. Okay, one of the reasons that I made this is um, specifically for when I'm doing the barrel trimming portion of making pens. In the past I had the round metal table underneath and I'd position the vise here to where it's you know most centered and then I'd try and clamp it but the clamps wouldn't always grip and sometimes it would move and I'd get an off center pen. So what I wanted was a, some way of clamping this down a little bit easier but I didn't want it to be too permanent so I can screw these pieces down directly to the base, leave a little bit of a gap and then a little toggle clamps, I can clamp those down and now that's going nowhere and I can do the trim. I can then take those off, move them out of the way and I can move that out and there's a little bit of room there for adjustments and then lock it down again and away I go and that's going to make my uh, pen making process a lot easier. Uh, so that's it for this one guys, thanks very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, quite pleased with the wish one, the way it's turned out. A few um, issues arose as we made it, because I didn't make any plans for this, you know, it was all ad hoc. Um, I had to drop the height of the fence from four inches to uh, three and a quarter because the handles wouldn't clear past, um, which was an issue. Um, and the second one is that the handle for cranking the height of the bed up and down was hitting the board. Um, so that just meant a little bit of adjustment, nothing major. Um, and I can still get past that now, so that's that's okay. Um, pleased with the way this has turned out. This is the re the main reason why I've done this one. And I really like my depth stops, um, these, these stop blocks here. That's going to work really well because there's a few jobs that I do for the market where I need to repeat those drills. Uh, those drill holes uh, and that's going to speed up the process now and instead of having to clamp something on you know that's a little bit more permanent and the thing is you know I can always take it off when I'm not using it which is even more better and I can just I'm going to put a nail in the back there and we can hang it up and store it anyway guys if you like this one you know give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and leave any comments down below I always read them and um, if you haven't already subscribed I invite you to do so so uh, hit that notification bell as well and I will catch you guys on the next one thanks very much for watching guys see you later bye